Okay, so guys, um, this is my review for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, okay? I'm excited to talk about this show, so I'm going to get right into it, okay? First thing I'm, I, I want to mention is that um, this show was just fun to watch. Overall, this is just a great show to watch. I love it. The characters uh, are probably the best part, um, and um, Joss Whedon um, is the one who... Uh, I think he's ba he's like the main guy behind the scenes who created this show. It was all I all his idea. I think he's one of the um, executive producers. So this is all him. And man, is this a good show. <coughs> um, it's just good. And the one thing that he got right with the Avengers is that he he understood that the way to make a movie like that work is by is by getting the characters right first making them interesting so that if the story is interest whether or not the story is interesting or not what 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 really drives a movie uh forward and 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 brings people in is the characters that's what invests you not the story the story is generally interesting but what invests you in is the characters and Joss Whedon once again completely understands that and nails all these characters and the weird thing is, I don't think these guys were originally from the comic books. Like, now the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. have their own comic book uh, series. But before this show came out, I don't think there was an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. book or, or comic out there. It was just completely off the cuff. Out of, just like Joss Whedon's idea, and it just, it's awesome. And I, and I love all the characters in this. The best way I can describe it is that this show is just easy to watch. It's it's fun, but also at times very emotional. Um, and I will say this show, like not just this season, but the whole show, many times has really hit me really deeply, uh, it affected me really deeply. In some cases, more than the movies ever have. Um, it's just such good writing, and um, the characters. I really want to touch on the characters for a bit because the, as I said the characters are the best part of this show concerning my favorite characters I don't have any because each and every character is written so well uh, the performances are fine but it's really the writing and and uh, some of the characters backstories that bring you in and the only like okay so I don't really have a favorite so I'm just going to talk about the three most interesting characters to me that I, I uh, initially just loved um, from like the first episode, first couple episodes. Um, first was Coulson, of course. Coulson is back. He's alive. Um, his backstory was interesting because, you know, we saw him die in Avengers before the Battle of New York. So it was weird seeing him come back. And like my review for the Winter Soldier, I won't spoil uh, too much of this. I will talk about it a lot more than what I did in that review. But uh, concerning Coulson's backstory, I don't want to give that much away because it is very surprising but it's not surprising in a fa in like okay so the fact is he did die he absolutely died but he was brought back to life and how that happened the story behind that you'll just have to watch it and find out for yourself but you'd think that uh how it happened would have been uh menacing or would have been this really dark evil thing but in truth, by the end of the season, you just realize, oh shit, he was brought back to life because people care about him. And yeah, it's kind of like a 50-50, like 50% that is a dark and evil thing to do, but the other 50% is that you care about Coulson so much that you do want him back alive. Um, so his backstory was interesting. Um, May's story... Uh, I said there were three people. It's Coulson, May, and Skye. They're the ones that had the most interesting backstories. And May's story was interesting. She was just a badass female character. Uh, now, I am saying this with 100% with um, sincerity. She is up there with badass female characters like Rey, uh, freaking Furiosa, um, uh, Wonder Woman uh, recently, her... Her recent movie just anyway um so may is like uh she's just an awesome uh badass female character um dare i say i like her almost 
I probably like her more than Black Widow. Black Widow is awesome in the movies, but May is just more interesting because I like her because she's more serious. She has moments of levity, but she is just generally a more serious character, and I like her for that because you think, you hear about the stories about Earl. She was a really nice, funny lady back in the day. But something happened to turn her into this really dark, self-serious character. So you, you, you're you wondering, like, what the hell happened? And her story is explored in Season 2. So I won't mention it in this, and I probably won't mention it in that, because I want you to find out for yourself. Uh, but Sky's story is a story that kind of spans three whole seasons. More likely two. Uh, her story... Yeah, her story spans two seasons, not three. Um, sorry about that. Her story is so massive that it expands two seasons. And if I were to try and go into it now, the video would be like 20 minutes long, and I don't. And that's not what I'm aiming for. So her story is interesting uh, and very emotional. I'll I'll say that. Um, so this movie, this movie, not a movie, a TV show. This TV show does tie into the movies quite a bit. Um, for example. Uh, episode 8 or 7, I can't remember which one it was, um, that took... It, one of the episodes in this season takes place right after Thor The Dark World. Uh, this first season, future seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. don't reference the movies quite as much as this first season. Um, it kind of feels like they were just doing that to make, to make people realise, oh shit, this is taking place in the MCU, when we all kind of knew that already. Um, but this season has is just crammed is like overflowing too much. It's it's overflowing with, with references and stuff. And some of them don't even make sense. Like there's this one scene with Mike Peterson. He's a character in the show. Um, not a big character, but... Uh, 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 anyway, he's a character in the show. And he uh, has recently gained superhuman abilities. And he is pushing this construction vehicle, this huge motherfucking construction vehicle across a field for training, right? And when he when he uh when he's finished training and when he's timed, he asks, "Oh, did I beat Cap's record?" Ah. Uh, I don't no. I don't want to like nitpick this, but like I don't I don't I don't know that much about Captain America, but I know one thing. He is not that overpowered. He is powerful. From a human perspective, because he is a, a super soldier, um, but he's not that powerful. So I, I just that reference just threw me off a bit because Cap can't do that. But nevertheless, this is a great show. That's the only problem I have with it is that sometimes the references can be can get too much to the point where sometimes it just doesn't make sense. Uh, it doesn't line up with things in the movies. Um, but this is a great show, nevertheless. Uh, the performances are great. The story is okay. I, I liked... I didn't necessarily like the references and the Easter eggs, but I did like how the movies affected the show. Uh, that was great. Um, and uh, it was great to see Samuel Jackson in this um, as Nick Fury. Um, and Bill Paxton as the bad guy. That was great. Um... So that's it, my, for, that's it for my review of Season 1 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I can't wait to, sit, to talk about future seasons. But uh, what's up next would be Guardians of the Galaxy. I will see you in that review. Goodbye.